Good morning, greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you are capable of dealing with any health issue. That's why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body what is in the world of biology standard operating procedure because the human biological system is a healing system it's a regenerating system it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis and while some folks may call that healing renewing regenerating system a miracle it really is just the way the body works if you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we welcome your phone calls on the bright side. Our number, 844-236-6010. That's 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, your longevity business, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you. If you have a success story you'd like to share or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, conversation 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the Bright Side, please head over to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can purchase Longevity products off the website, or Beyond Tangy Tangerine, or Healthy Start Pack, or Beyond Osteofax, Ultimate Niacin, Ultimate Selenium, Fucoid Z. You can purchase all the Longevity products at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team off our websites as well. Or you can call the phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. And tell them you want to join the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $25 fee. You can start yourself a Longevity business. If you're an entrepreneur, it's a perfect business. You can sell longevity products and sign people up right out of your home. You can enjoy all the tax benefits associated with having your own business. Or, of course, if you just want to get your products at the wholesale price, you can do that as well. Also want to remind you to check out our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com, or Truth Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Serum, and Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, and Truth Balm, all made with vitamin C and retinol, and never any preservatives, fragrances, fillers, waxes, silicon, oil, water, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in any of our Truth Skin Health products. They're all up at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. All right, welcome back to the Bright Side, friends. We'll take, your, we'll take your calls here in our next segment at the bottom of the hour. We're going to be talking to Ed Learberger about CBD, cannabinoids, and a little bit about, about marijuana. You may know that this is Hemp History Month or Hemp History Week this week. And so in honor of Hemp History Week, we're going to be talking uh, today and also on Friday to the folks at Pure Kind Botanicals who make our CBD tincture, which you can get at brightsidehealth.com. We'll be talking a little bit about cannabinoids and the history of hemp as well as using cannabinoids for anxiety or for pain relief and also for cancer. There's some interesting articles that I was just reading today. I guess Olivia Newton-John had a second incidence of breast cancer. She had breast cancer a few years ago. And now she's going to be using, at least according to this article in the Daily Mail, CBD for her breast cancer. Cannabinoids, according to this article, this is uh, published yesterday in the Daily Mail, cannabinoids had a significant effect on the death of cancer cells in leukemia. A combination of, uh, of CBD or cannabinoids and chemotherapy had better results than chemotherapy alone. Results were greater when using cannabinoids after chemotherapy. There's so much amazing stuff coming out about CBD, which is an active ingredient in the marijuana plant or, or also in the hemp plant and cannabinoids in general. And any We'll be talking to, to uh, Ed Learberger of Pure Crime Botanicals at the bottom of the hour. So we'll get your calls in our next segment, 844-236-6010. Last we spoke, we were talking about the relationship between dopamine and eating behavior. 
Here's the thing about dopamine. It is involved in a lot of different things in the body. A lot of different, uh, there's a lot of different actions to dopamine <laughs> that transcend eating behavior. It's involved in how we move our bodies. It's involved in motor control and memory and emotions, like reward, motivation, desire. It's got a role to play in addictive behaviors, a major role, hormone regulation, nurturing behavior, pregnancy, sensory, uh, sensory processes all involve dopamine. Dopamine dysfunction is associated with schizophrenia, with dementia, with hallucinations. All of this means that dopamine is a key player in numerous aspects of health and wellness and just being alive. It's our yippee hormone. It's our we just won the lottery brain chemical. Reading from, uh, this is from, let's see, what do we got here? From the San Jose Mercury News, the Powerball fever you're feeling has a name. It's called dopamine. In the brain stem of a gambler, dopamine neurons are firing very high, pushing them back, uh, pushing them out, uh, pushing out the money, uh, pushing you to go out and get the money and to go out and buy the ticket, says Dr. Nancy Fields, or Dr. Howard Fields, professor of neurology at the University of California in San Francisco. During pleasurable experience, experiences, dopamine floods the brain and urges humans to repeat the bliss blasting behavior. This is according to the San Jose Mercury News from January of 2017. Rats that are given dopamine-inducing foods like sugar and drugs like cocaine will endlessly push a lever to get more dopamine stimulation. And it's not just rats. People do it too. People will kill themselves and others for a little hit of dopamine. That's called addiction. And it's behind many, if not most, of our health problems via uncontrolled eating, uncontrolled addiction to pain pills, tobacco, alcohol, cocaine, heroin. Even marijuana has a dopamine-stimulating effect. In fact, all drugs of abuse will activate dopamine transmission and make us feel rewarded, including nicotine cigarettes, which is really interesting because what it means is we're not fundamentally, at the most basic level, addicted to tobacco or addicted to alcohol or addicted to cocaine or addicted to food or addicted to anything else, but rather we're addicted to ourselves. We're addicted to our own brains. We're addicted to our own brain biochemistry. We're addicted to our own internal biochemistry, our own feelings, our own sensations. That's amazing. That is truly powerful because what that means is the key to getting over an addictive behavior is to learn how to activate our own biochemistry without external agents. Learn to upregulate the biochemistry that we're looking for, that we're looking to upregulate with our tobacco or our drugs or whatever, or our food, our sugar, whatever it is we're addicted to. We can learn to activate our own addictive chemicals. We can upregulate our, our dopamine. We can enhance our dopamine in actions that are in ways that are not related to actions like eating or not related to drugs or not related to anything outside of us. We are completely self-contained. If there's one theme of the bright side, if there's one idea that I want to get across with everything I do, with everything I write, with everything I present, with everything I say on this radio show, it's that we are in charge. We are powerful. Our bodies are capable of everything that we're depending on outside agents to give us. That is so empowering. If you're out there and you're addicted to pain pills, understand that you're not really addicted to the pain pills. You're addicted to the chemistry that's induced, your own biochemistry that's induced by the pain pills or whatever it is we're addicted to. And it's not just drugs and food. You can be addicted to work. You can be addicted to sex. You can be addicted to anything really. And it all involves dopamine. So figuring out how to access, how to turn on our own dopamine, how to upregulate and enhance our own dopamine in ways that aren't related to external agents is incredibly powerful. Now, of course, probably the most significant impact on dopamine for most of us is going to involve food because while we don't have to do drugs, we all have to eat. We're all encouraged to eat. Not only do we have to eat, but we're, very, uh, we're, we're pushed to eat. We're encouraged to eat. We're messaged to eat. From the time we're born almost, certainly from the time we're little kids, through television and radio and billboards, we're encouraged to eat over and over and over and over and over and endlessly, which makes, it may, it makes eating behavior very, very uh, important to pay attention to. The combination of the idea that while we don't have to do drugs, we all have to eat, and that we're encouraged to eat is a one-two punch that makes a very dangerous combina uh, combination that we observe as addictive eating. All right, we'll finish up when we come back from our break. Take your phone calls as well. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll return. 
Okay, we are back on the bright side. Pharmacist Ben here. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive pages at brightsideben.com and benfuchsarchives.com. We've got search engines at both pages if you miss a program or want to review one and want to direct one of your customers, clients, patients, loved ones to a specific topic, head to brightsideben.com or benfuchsarchives.com. You can purchase Young Jeopardy products off our websites too, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, as well as criticalhealthnews.com, and we have blog posts and news stories and videos up on all the Young Jeopardy products and also just general health topics. I try to do a couple of videos a week. And they're all posted at criticalhealthnews.com. I think we have some up at pharmacistben.com as well. You can also purchase Young Je- uh, Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com. You can purchase Young Jeopardy products off our websites as well. And you can purchase our Truth Treatment products at truthtreatments.com. And you can purchase our botanic, uh, pure, hem- pure Kind Botanicals Hemp Extracts at brightsidehealth.com. We're going to talk to Ed Learberger of Pure Kind Botanicals at the bottom of the hour. We'll get your calls here in just a moment. A uh, couple things things I want to say here about uh, about dopamine. I love the idea that we can access our own brain biochemistry. If you're addicted to anything, this is just powerful information, especially if you're addicted to pain pills, which are a serious, serious problem. All addictions are serious problems. But at the end of the day, we're addicted to our own internal biochemistry. We're addicted to our own feelings, our own sensations, which means that if we could figure out how to turn on our own brain biochemistry, we can wean ourselves off of drugs quite simply. Now, eating behaviors, our eating is probably the most serious, certainly the most common of all addictions because we're encouraged to eat at every turn and because we have to eat. It's a one-two punch. We have to eat and we're encouraged to eat. But the good news is, is we can put an end to this endless addictive eating behavior by learning to access pleasure biochemistry, reward biochemistry in more healthy ways. Because many times we choose to eat And many times we choose what to eat by the desire to upregulate reward chemistry, which is represented by dopamine, by the brain chemical dopamine. This I just won the lottery, I just won the the Powerball uh, hormone. But there's other ways to do it. Do you know, just achieving goals will regulate your dopamine. Dopamine is a reward biochemical, so it's keyed into achieving goals. This is really what addiction is. That's why you get that really good feeling when you finally get a cigarette. If you've been jonesing for a cigarette, you've achieved a goal, not a very functional goal, but achieving any goal will upregulate your dopamine. And it doesn't have to be a major goal. Even a micro goal can upregulate your dopamine. Go into the store will bump up your dopamine. Putting gas in the car, paying a bill. If these are goals for you, if you've somehow convinced your brain that these are goals, you're going to get a hit of dopamine just by paying a bill. That's why it's so important to write down your goals, no matter what, no matter what they are, no matter how small they are. Even microscopic goal achievement will bump up your dopamine. Have a to-do list. First thing in the morning, doing a to-do list and then checking off everything on the to-do list will bump up your dopamine. You may have experienced this. If you have a to-do list and you got 10 things on it, and you even if you don't achieve all of them, if you achieve eight of them at the end of the day, you feel good. That feeling good is a, a hit of dopamine. Exercise upregulates dopamine. Movement. Dopamine is majorly related to movement disorders. This is what Parkinson's disease is about. Parkinson's disease, which is a movement disorder disease, it's a dopamine disease. What the drug they give you is dopamine. Cinemat is basically dopamine. The main drug for, for, uh, for folks who are dealing with Parkinson's is dopamine. When we reach out to open a doorknob, that's kind of a goal achievement. When, we, when our hand hits that doorknob, our brain thinks we achieved a goal, boom, dopamine goes up. Just opening the door will upregulate your dopamine. Just tying your shoes will upregulate your dopamine. When, without dopamine, we can't make accurate movements. We can't make elegant and smooth movements, as anyone with Parkinson's disease uh, can tell you. Parkinson's disease is a disease that's marked by destruction of something, a part of the brain called the substantia nigra, or black substance, which is where dopamine is made. Interestingly, by the way, the, the substantia nigra, the black substance that is destroyed when you have Parkinson's disease, is uh, black because of melanin, pigment. 
neuromelanin, a specific kind of pigment, the same kind of stuff that's in your skin, except it's in your brain, neuromelanin. All right, got tons more to say about dopamine and strategies for, for uh, kicking, kicking dopamine, I should say kicking dopamine, kicking addictions that bump up your dopamine, and also for uh, modifying eating behavior. We'll do that tomorrow as we continue talking about excitotoxicity and eating behavior and drugs on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to Robin in Oklahoma. Good morning, Robin. How you doing? Good morning, Ben. Um, I talked to you about a year ago, and I was having some severe insomnia, and you basically told me that I was shutting down. And I d- make a very long story short. Wait a, wait a minute. I told you you were shutting down? What, I don't know. I'm yeah. not sure of that. Okay, well, I'm not I sure. Go ahead. I was not sleeping. And um, it's taken a year to find a good naturopathic doctor that did a neurotransmitter test, a year at 24 hour urine transmitter test, and your dopamine, all my neurotransmitters were severe. So, long story short, what you're saying about the neurotransmitter dopamine is so incredibly true as a person who has been through hell and back. Nice. It is so, it is so incredibly true. Thank you. I appreciate that. What are you, are you, do you have any addictions? I mean, if you want to share them, I don't know if you want to share them. No, I'm not. I have no addiction. None. Okay. Okay. What, have you figured out, have you, uh, have you uh, experimented with upregulating your neurotransmitters just using strategies that we're talking about here? Exercise, well, I, movement, motivation, I, that kind of thing? I am doing those things. She has me on a couple of uh, supplements. I truly believe I was addicted four years ago to temazepam, which shuts down your GABA neurotransmitters. Okay. And so um, that was I, to sleep. That was so you could sleep. That was so I could sleep. And do you have any? Inf- do you have any kind of underlying inflammatory issues? Any health, ch- physical health challenges? No, I don't. That's interesting. Just it. Adrenal fatigue. I had severe adrenal fatigue. My cortisol level is completely off, literally off the chart. Now, there's so a couple it, reasons. Well, let me just say this real quick. There's a couple reasons why cortisol levels will go up. One is body fat. If you're carrying too much body fat, that can do it. A second, uh, second issue is if you have any underlying inflammatory conditions. I mean, you say you don't, but if you could find some, digestive issues can do it too. Uh, digestive well, issues can lead to. Infl- yeah, go ahead. Yep, yeah, I, I have. I, I couldn't find an answer until I could get in with my naturopath. So what I did is I went on, I went on an autoimmune disease diet and I healed my gut. There everything, you go. Everything is getting better. Awesome. Getting and you're sleeping better? Um, I have, if I stay under the radar of stress, I do much, much better. But right now I cannot handle any kind of stress. So I'm, I'm healing. It's going to take a while. Good but for I, you. Good for you. Congratulations. Let me add, let me throw in a couple things you might want to try if you're not already. You may already be doing them. Vitamin C in high doses yep. throughout the throughout the day. Magnesium also can be very helpful. Uh, you might yep. want to consider vitamin B12 shots. I don't know if they told you about vitamin B12 in the adrenal glands. Uh, zinc is very important for adrenal health, and so is iodine. I, iodine. A lot of us think about when we think about iodine, we think about the thyroid, but it really plays a major role in adrenal health. I, Last thing I, I gotta go, go ahead. Iodine. I'm sorry, I'm losing you. I didn't hear, I can't hear what you're saying. Uh, call us back tomorrow. We'll get you first up, Rod. I'd love to talk to you some more. Uh, vitamin B5, pantothenic acid, also plays a very important role in the production of adrenal hormones. All right, we got to go. Thanks, Robin. Appreciate your call. We're coming back with Ed Learberger of Pure Kind Botanicals after our break. Don't go away. On the bright side, thanks for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time. And uh, Temp History Month. Some of you guys out there have enjoyed CBD or know what I'm talking about with CBD or marijuana for that matter. I find it interesting how marijuana is now legal in a lot of states, but there's still people in jail for smoking a plant that comes out of the ground, for smoking an herb that comes out of the ground. Terrible situation. Anyway, I'm proud to uh, have our next guest on from Pure Kind Botanicals. I've known Ed for a couple of years. I've known his brother for about 20 years. He used to work for me when I had my skincare business. 
Ed is the uh, president, I believe, of Pure Kind Botanicals. You can find Pure, Ki Pure Kind Botanicals hemp extracts on our brightsidehealth.com website. We've got two strengths. Pure Kind Botanicals hemp extract is made with MCT oil, coconut oil, that is, uh, uh, coconut-derived oil, MCT medium-chain triglyceride oils, and pure hemp, organic, uh, from organic coconuts, I might add. So please welcome to the bright side, Ed Learberger, my good friend. What's up, Eddie? Hello, Ben. Nice good to morning. Show. Good to talk good to you. So, uh, first of all, tell the listeners a little bit about yourself. You bet. So, I'm, uh, you might say, classically trained in business. Uh, went to four years of business school at uh, Western State College University. And from there, uh, stayed in business. And my brother and I started... Uh, our company, our parent company, Pure Vision Technology, 25 years ago, and I've been the businessman for the most part running the company. Uh, we were very fortunate to have some very smart people and some engineers and some scientists, and we have a, a great team of processors. And over the years, uh, we learned how to process biomass in our patented technology known as countercurrent reaction technology. And in this uh, great adventure, uh, once hemp was legalized in Colorado, which was about five years ago, we started processing hemp. And as you mentioned at the, at the beginning of this piece uh, about marijuana, uh, I just want your listeners to know that in Colorado, there's a, a definite distinction between marijuana and industrial hemp. Uh, you can smoke hemp all day and you won't get high. If anything, you'll get a headache. If you smoke marijuana, that gets you high. Mm. So we've only been processing industrial hemp, and we discovered and actually invented a way of taking the hemp flowers and extracting the cannabinoids out in a very gentle way. This was over two years ago. To this day, we're the only company that I know of doing it in the manner that we do it. Uh, obviously, we came up with the method, but what we try to do is extract the, the cannabinoids out of the flowers in a very gentle way that has a direct effect on how those cannabinoids uh, affect the human body. So, so we've had very good successes in that extraction process. So you maintain a lot, a lot of the medicinal integrity of the plant. Of the, of Absolutely. The nice. Now, I've seen your machine. I've, I've been to the factory, and it's an amazing, amazing setup you got over there. Can you tell us a little bit, without getting too technical, about what this technology is and, and why it, 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 um, it conserves the medicinal and therapeutic value of the, of the hemp so well? Sure. Uh, well, there's a couple things going on, and, and Ben, uh, when you were here, you were really amazed when you saw our continuous countercurrent reactor. Right. Now, that machine, which you know is patented technology that we developed uh, years ago, is for taking the hemp stalks, and we are able to take hemp stalks, run it through our reactor, and pull off the pulp and sugars and lignin. So we're perhaps the only company in the world that has made uh, hemp lignin, L-I-G-N-I-N. Like and a fiber. Also, that's like a, I'm like sorry? A, that's a fiber you're talking about when you say uh, lignin. Lignin is really a, 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 a polymer. Uh, it's really not a fiber. 20% uh, uh, of the hemp stalks is made of lignin, and all plants that grow have certain amounts of lignin, and it's the, you might say, the glue or the sap that protects the fibers that are uh, inherent so, in all plants. In other words, so, it's a component of the fiber. It's a component of the fiber. And Do you use it for nutritional? Do you have any nutritional use for it? Do you do anything with it that way? Because lignans can it, be very, very uh, uh, productive for the bacteria. They can help support bacteria in the gut. I wonder if you, you do anything with that nutritionally? Well, let me just back uh, track just a bit. So we can take the hemp stalks and we break down the hemp stalks into the three primary components that make up the hemp stalks. The first and the most prevalent is cellulose fiber, long chains of six carbon sugars. The second most predominant uh, component is the hemicellulose, which is a five carbon sugar 
And those two uh, fibrous compounds make up over 50% of the plant. The lignin is the, the uh, glue, you might say, that holds the fibers together. Now, in our extraction process, we've separated the pulp from the hemicellulose, which we have turned into the sugar, which is a xylose sugar. And we're perhaps the first company in the world that's ever made xylitol, which is the healthiest wow. sugar known to man. Hemp xylitol. Hemp stalks. That's amazing. Are you selling the xylitol? We are not yet selling the xylitol. We've done the proof of concept, and we're currently raising money to scale this up so we can start selling xylitol wow. in the world. That, that is awesome. I didn't, that's new. I didn't hear that. I didn't now, know that. The, the other thing, to answer your question now, getting back to the lignin, we've also done something with the lignin, uh, and we're perhaps the first company in the world to do this. We've taken hemp lignin, and we've made... Uh, what's known as vanillin. And vanillin is a flavoring, and it tastes like vanilla. Mm. And most of the vanillin in the world comes from crude oil and oil-based products. Most people don't know that. So our vision is to grow organic industrial hemp and extract the sugars to make products, extract the lignin to make flavorings and products and plastics. And then the main thing we're doing right now is with the flowers, and we're able to extract the cannabinoids from the flowers. And, wow. Uh, so hemp is pretty darn amazing. I mean, even more amazing than, than I knew. I mean, everybody knows about hemp for fiber, and hemp makes some some strong. It can make you can make textiles out of hemp, some good fabrics out of hemp. But it's got all these incredible components that you can do things with. So I want to hear some uh, some success stories. I know every time we talk, you tell me about some amazing things about uh, CBD and the Pure Kind Botanicals. By the way, brightsidehealth.com, you can buy our Pure Kind Botanicals uh, extract, 1,500 milligrams for the extra strength, and that, that one kicks butt at the 1,500 milligram strength. Tell us some success stories about, uh, about the CBD. And I don't know, did you hear about uh, Olivia Newton-John today, by the way? No, I have she's, not. She had a second incidence of breast cancer, and now she's all over CBD for breast cancer. That's absolutely amazing what CBD can do for cancer. I'm not going to say it's curing cancer. I don't want to get into any FDA trouble there, but it's um, there's some amazing stories. I will say that. And we got to take a break. When we come back, I want to hear some good success stories, okay? You bet. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We're talking to Ed Learberger of Pure Kai Botanicals about CBD extract. We'll return on The Bright Side right after this. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're talking to Ed Learberger of Pure Kind Botanicals about Pure, Pure Kind Botanicals hemp extract, which you can find at brightsidehealth.com. Got two strengths up there, a regular strength and an extra strength. Ed, so I know there's tons of success stories about CBD for anxiety issues, for pain issues, uh, even for deal, helping folks deal with cancer. Give us a few of the success stories, some of the really good success stories that you guys have heard. Oh, God, there's so many. You know, in the business of uh, formulating and, and selling these products, we get people all the time that either email us or call us, and they give us these testimonials. And many times, this product changes their life. And uh, what I'm talking about is people have been on Western medicines for so many different ailments, and they try taking CBDs, and it literally changes their life, their attitude, their well-being. Uh, they sleep better. And there's uh, so many tr uh, transformations that have happened through this amazing plant. Uh, one comes to mind just because it's so recent. Uh, we had a gentleman that visited us. He just walked into our headquarters, and he said, God, I hear so many great things about your particular product. And uh, this gentleman has had Crohn's disease his whole life. He's already had part of his intestines removed, and he has lived in pain and suffering for many years. He started taking uh, CBDs. It's changed his life. He's tried many different CBD products, 
He swears that ours is the most beneficial. And so now we're actually uh, doing a private label uh, engagement with this gentleman. It's, it, it's turned around his life. He's connected with people with Crohn's disease. And that's just one of so many amazing success stories that, you know, people sometimes call us. This, this gentleman walked through our door. How about for sleep? You know, it's interesting. Uh, cannabinoids uh, affect the human body in different ways, and nobody is the same. So if you take CBDs, it might help you sleep better. Most people, that's the case. Uh, we have uh, one client in particular that takes our strongest dose, which is a 3,000 milligram. Uh, and she started taking uh, like three drops at, in the morning when she got up and then three drops before she went to bed. Uh, she let me know that she was having a hard time sleeping. So I told her to start taking three drops in the morning at in two in the afternoon and she started sleeping through the night after that. So other people I know, and, and many people that are having a hard time sleep sleeping, uh, take it before they go to bed and they have great successes. But again, you can hear that uh, the uh, cannabinoids affect humans differently. So you just have to work with them and see how they affect your body. Any good, uh, they, cancer, any good cancer stories? Oh God, uh, you know, the one you gave about Goldie Hawn, is very typical. Uh, the, the best cancer story that I know personally is a gentleman, uh, this was a year and a half ago, came to visit me on an unrelated matter. This had more to do with our continuous countercurrent reactor, and he has a, a complementary technology. But he told me he had and still has liver cancer, and he had one of his I'm sorry, one of his kidney, he had kidney cancer. He had one of his kidneys removed. The guy just looked horrible. He'd never taken any kind of cannabis product in his life. So I'm talking about marijuana or hemp. That day, I gave him a, 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 a vial of our 1500. This literally changed his life. Uh, he had six months to live when I met him. He looked horrible since that day. He's been taking our product, and it's changed his life. He's a new guy. He's uh, vibrant, and he's got his energy back. He sleeps well. He's not in pain. He went to the doctor about four months ago. He's in remission. I mean, this is just wow. unbelievable. Now, does he, attri he attributes it to the CBD. A hundred percent. You know, this is a real guy. He's a friend of mine. Uh, we can call him up. We can get him on the radio to give his testimonial. But oh, these are the that. kind of things we experience all the time. Yeah, get me. I'll have to get you get his number off the air. We'll have to talk when, when uh, after the program ends. Uh, now, there's nothing uh, intoxicating or inebriating about this, right? Absolutely. So, in this product made with industrial hemp flowers, uh, the way we extract, we end up with the full spectrum of all the cannabinoids contained in the flowers. And to date, they've identified over 100 cannabinoids. And one of those cannabinoids is THC. That's the one cannabinoid that, quote, gets you high. So of all the cannabinoids, there's only one that's known that really uh, has mind-altering effects. But the other ones most of which we don't know about. The other most prevalent cannabinoid is a cannabinoid called cannabidiol, CBD. Uh, which is the CBD. So our products primarily have cannabidiol or CBD, but they also have all the full spectrum of all the other cannabinoids. So there's a very small amount of THC, but it's so small that you will not feel it at all. You can drink the entire bottle and you won't feel any kind of uh, effect like you would with marijuana. So do you filter out the CBD or the hemp just doesn't contain the CBD? Or I'm sorry, the, cannab uh, the THC. Do you filter out the THC or the hemp just doesn't contain, uh, doesn't contain THC? Uh, well, th there's different cultivars and you can actually genetically modify cannabis, which we don't recommend and you can uh, uh, modify the plant so it won't produce as much or any 
THC, uh, the THC. Uh, but what we do is we take the cannabis and it's grown in organic soil and it's harvested and we process it and our target is to take all of the cannabinoids and uh, extract it in an oil that goes into all our products. So your, your pure kind botanicals hemp is organic, not just, the, not just the oil is organic, but the hemp itself is organic? Are you only using organic hemp? We only use uh, hemp that has been grown in organic soils, and that's been uh, our policy from day one, and we've never veered from that. And in all our products, we typically will only use organic ingredients unless they're not available. So we're, you know, we're very particular about what we put into our products, and we strive to be the best and use the absolute best ingredients anyone can find anywhere. How about addict, any addiction or anything where people get hooked on the stuff? Uh, there's absolutely zero physical addiction to this. Uh, I, I must say, I, I put on our Mana body butter every day, and I love it so much, and it just heals the skin. It makes the skin feel good. It's not greasy. It's not oily. It just is absorbed by your skin in, in, a, in a way that, you know, I, I hate to say this. I will not go out <laughs> without putting it on. So I'm not physically addicted to it, but it's just part of my daily routine. And that, can but, you, yeah, to answer your question, there's no physical addiction to any kind of uh, cannabinoids. How about applying the hemp extract that you can find, by the way, at uh, brightsidehealth.com? How about applying it topically? Do you get any benefits for pain, applying it topically, arthritis or joint pain or anything like that, inflammatory pain? Absolutely. We, we have uh, so many clients where it's helped tendonitis. It's helped topical. Uh, putting it on topically. Yeah. Putting it on topically, uh, and I mean, my wife has tendonitis, and she puts it on every day. And it, she, I mean, she's had it for years. She notices a big difference when she applies uh, the, our our uh, mana butter to her hands. We have many people that have pains, and, and uh, we make a product that's known as a, a pain balm. And these have direct effects on people. And it, it's amazing because, you know, people that live in pain or with pain, hmm. they know what it's like. They take medicine. They take aspirin. And when they try uh, our CBD products, they get instant results. I mean, sometimes within minutes, swelling can go down, pain can go away. So it's just something that, you know, if you're... Uh, used to taking medicine for any kind of ailment, you should try taking this all-natural product that is starting to sweep the world uh, as far as people with ailments. And there's so many kind of ailments that this is uh, helping and curing and treating. Ed, we got to go. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Ed Leerberger of Pure Kind Botanicals. I'll talk to you soon, Ed. Okay, I'm going to give you a call later today or maybe tomorrow. Thanks so much okay, for being on it. All right, take care. Pure Kind Botanicals hemp extract is available at brightsidehealth.com. Got two strengths up there at brightsidehealth.com. Got a bunch of good products at brightsidehealth.com. That's all the time we have for today. Thanks for listening to The Bright Side. Friends, tomorrow we'll continue talking eating behavior and dopamine. Have yourselves an awesome, wonderful, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.